Carter in any way. He's like standing up real good, and especially the Artello, I'm really amazed at. Barney Ross, my colleague at ringside, is one of those who lost his legs right in the middle of a fight. To the great Henry Armstrong, who took your title that night, right, Barney? Oh, yes, I can't forget that. I lost it exactly about the fifth round. And uh, just, and I was as great a shape as I ever was in any one of my fights, guys. But it just happened. That was Jared Dillon's best body combination to uh, this moment. He now is cut above the right eye. Really on the forehead. Drips the blood along the right side and the left temple. Joey used to cut badly and I think once or twice lost on TKO. But that was a long time ago. Tiger has never been knocked out. Believe me, you could never tell from Giardello's face whether he's tired or not. Certainly not tired. Now I can see the cut above Giardello's right eye. It's right at the tip of the eyebrow, near the temple, and it is dripping pretty well. One minute to go, round nine. I don't think there's any danger there, Barney Ross. No, it looks more or less like a little scratch, like a little uh, nip, as you call it, a nick. And, uh... Tiger continues to uh, stop Giardello. Giardello just trying to make pick out his moves and trying to make a couple of uh, good counter punches. And uh, Tiger is still bulldogging Giardello. Still moving on him all the time. Doesn't give him a chance to breathe. Both men have been powerhousing in the closing seconds of each round these last three or four rounds. Well, that's because they, I guess they both know about this time. He's got his best blow in the last three rounds. Solid left hook for the chin, the Tiger. That landed flush. But it doesn't hurt Tiger's power much. He's a strong guy. Giardetto was solidly nailed at the end of that round. Now... We'll check Giardello's corner in just a couple of moments. See how bad that cut is. Now, let's see another way to spend one beautiful evening with one beautiful beer. Schmidt's of Philadelphia. The star of any show, because it's beer as beer should be. Barney Ross, this is the beginning of round 10. Tiger uh, appears to be too strong for Giardello up to this point. Strong, but Giardello's still got his cute ways of moving around. He's not wasting too many punches. Barney, in close voting, they say that the champion will always get a little bit of edge from the referees and the judges. Do you think that's true? I don't believe, really the believe champion, that. They say. I really don't believe that. I think that the, the judges and the... Uh, all the officials. I think they give it the way they seem, and sometimes they might be uh, off, as it happens many times, where uh, they just, one will give it one way, one will give it the other way. Both men are extremely wealthy men. Maybe I use the word ill-advisedly, and so far as Giardello is concerned, he has a split-level home in a Cherry Hill section of Camden, New Jersey, riding out of Philadelphia, has a beautiful convertible in the garage, a pool, Dick Tiger. Is a big real estate owner in West Africa and is now building a 2,000 seat movie house. Their pros have taken the most out of their business and given it a lot. Both have said they will not retire no matter how this fight goes. You'll have to ask yourself, Barney, why isn't Giardello using that left jab more? Well, I guess he doesn't want to waste too many punches. He's trying to get his best shots across, and he's trying to uh, preserve that uh, 
left hand of his, I guess, until he has got a more of a, uh, a, a cleaner uh, goal to shoot for. I think that uh, he's fighting him the best way that he can in those circumstances. And you know, in a 15-round fight, guy, they claim that after the 10th round is the time when the man eliminates the boy. Now, after this, I'm going to find out who the man is and who the boy is. I think they're both two great men, two great fighters. One minute to go. Beautiful blocking by Dick Tiger. Very casual in there as he picked off two rough left hands. Tiger, compared to Giardello at this point, appears to be untouched. Shows no real signs of weariness to me. again and shaken up. Ten seconds to go, round ten. Giordano seems to be fighting nearly out of instinct that time. And the bell ending round ten. Giordano took tough rights and lefts to the body, smashes to the head, and yet came back with one or two right hands to the head. Many Giardello fans, no doubt, in the garden. They've come from all over, certainly from South Philadelphia, clapping their hands in unison, asking for the champion to get going. And everybody at ringside knowing that the champion will have to get going from this point on, surely, if he is, he is not a knockout puncher, he's going to have to win the next five rounds and have a solid lead, most believe, in order to retain the crowd. In this training camp session, Giardello often showed himself to be vulnerable to the fast right hand thrown at the head. With the nail solidly that way tonight. battle ended right here, it would have been an easy one for Dick Tiger comparatively. <laughs> Difference as I see, Barney, has been harder on target hitting by Tiger. Very little left hand work by Giardello, surprisingly. And it seems he was caught cold at the beginning by super aggression on the part of Dick Tiger. Well, Tiger hurt him the early part of this round with two beautiful left hooks, two comeback punches. One, and then he can have another strong one. And it sort of uh, slowed uh, Giardel up quite a bit. And as I said, after this round, after the last round, this is where the, uh, the man starts coming on real strong. And it looks to me right now that the Tiger is as strong as he was in the first couple of rounds. One minute to go. Round 11. <clears throat> Giardello seems to have trouble raising that right hand of his to block the punches. He's bleeding more now above the right eye. Just a tank with a good right hand. seconds to go around the left. <laughs> Barney, this is round 12 coming up. Giardello has a long uphill battle. Got him shook up uh, quite a bit in the 11th round. 
Taggart stayed with him and uh, was relentless with his uh, punches. And that thought that he uh, hurt Giardello uh, a couple of times. But Giardello, we, you can hardly tell with him. He comes out and he's strong again. There is, of course, no return clause in anybody's contract after this fight. Giardello said he was going to get... He was going to give uh, the next shot at the crowd to Joey Archer if he had been the winner. Barney Ross, Giardello now is bleeding pretty well. Uh, on the outside of his right arm. I wouldn't exactly call it pretty well today. I would say bleeding pretty badly. Uh, it's not as deep gash as I see it, but it's starting to bother him. I mean, he's getting some of that uh, trickling. Now he's hit again on the eye, and another special reference to Magic. 